Hello! Oh my gosh, you guys. I haven't even started the vlog, but we are here. This is Ashley. We, you good? Yeah. We are about to be on our way to Panama. <laughs> right. <laughs> You're like the only friend I travel with. But you guys, if you've been keeping up with uh, my Instagram and my reels and TikToks and whatnot, you saw that I bought some packing cubes and my I, I, I brought one luggage. I am hoping that this is under 50 pounds because what I didn't have was a scale. My bad. So we are going to go in there and figure out if hopefully <laughs> it is under 50 pounds. <laughs> Jesus, save us. We did it! Carry on that you guys have. You can have this. Right. <laughs> you guys, my luggage was only 22.8 in kilos. We're all checked in. Now we are going to the gate. You guys, the fact. She said to the left. <laughs> the fact that we really uh the fact that my luggage was really less than 50 pounds like love that we made it to panama oh god that flight was not the very the most comfortable it, was not. it definitely was not <sighs> the airport adventures continue we have made it to panama so welcome you guys i'm i'm, I'm excited i'm excited it is the weather is a little tropical so it's raining right now but we haven't gone outside to see how hot it is i'm assuming it's going to be a little bit hot but we are picking up our luggage now and we're gonna head to our hotel i'm so i'm just so excited to like you know what i mean <sighs> let's feel let's feel the humidity let's feel the humidity oh yeah. it doesn't even feel horrible horrible it's only 10 a.m i know when the sun's not out. Hey, it's not horrible, but look, look at, at the, the camera. camera. <laughs> it's only 10 a.m. Wait, that's what they need to see. That is insane. <laughs> the windows. You know what? We're about to be in the beach, in the water. We're fine. Hi, you guys. We've made it to our hotel. We are staying at, what is it called? Dreams Playa Bonita. Dreams Playa Bonita. It's an all-inclusive hotel or resort and spa here in Panama. I am very excited. My view is beautiful. I'm going to show you guys right now. We're in the preferred lounge right now just because we're Hyatt. Um, what is it called? We're Hyatt members, period. <laughs> so we get, right? Thank you for your loyalty. So we get the preferred area and then we also get the preferred pool. But it's really, really nice. We're right in front of the beach. We're here a little bit early. Checking is not until 3. But it is, what time is it right now, Ash? 12.10. It's 12.10. At 12.30, they're going to start serving lunch. So we came up here to lounge for a little bit, take a sip of Hennessy, okay, and start drinking <laughs> and then we're gonna go have some lunch in the meantime that our room is ready but our drinks are coming amen 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 yes can the church say amen because this is gonna be <laughs> we are about to drink this uh gracias we are about to drink Thank you. ¿Cómo se dice cómo se dice straw en aquí en Panamá? Aquí para dice carrizo. Carrizo. Oh, yeah, porque en México se dice popote. Aquí es carrizo. <laughs> Muy bien. Gracias. <laughs> Gracias, Angela. Carrizo. That's how you say straw here. I knew it was different. <laughs> Six different ways. Like I feel like that is the one Spanish word that everyone says. Make sure you remember. Because <laughs> I'm gonna forget. Your mom's gonna want <laughs> Right. <laughs> Like yes. <laughs> okay, look at my drink. Here. Is it good? That's the one. Yeah. That's the one, guys. <laughs> Cheers. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Hennessy yes. sidecar. You just gotta tell people how to make it and Here. boom. It's easy. Grand Martier, Hennessy, and sweet and sour. Y'all get your perfect drink. He did a perfect job. He deserves a tip. Mm. Hey Amen. Let me show you guys the view just from where I'm sitting. 
Look at that. So pretty. And we haven't even gone outside. Yes. We're in the jungle. How cute. Happy birthday. Period. Oh, <laughs> it's someone's birthday. Oh, yeah. So we were going to find that out. We'll go back down right now so we're on the going to our room now. We are staying at 525. Let's go. Oh, I feel so nice so in here. here. Nasty. Is somebody gonna match my freak, my freak? My freak is traveling. Is somebody gonna match my freak? <laughs> Let's go see the view outside. Whew. <sighs> It's at the weather. I love it that it's like not horribly bad. Look at this view, you guys. We have the beach here. We have one of the pools here. This whole thing is our resort. Hey, 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 hey. Un, dos, tres, cuatro, beep, 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 beep. Just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice, Ash. The view's nice. Oh, we made it. We made it. We made it. We just got brought champagne to the room. Hello, hello. Welcome. We are here to vacation. We are here to party. I already put on my first bathing suit. I'm trying to figure out how to um, put it on correctly first before I show y'all. But we're about to go in the pool and get our day. Whoa, it's me being right here. You can see my reflection in the back. Oh, yes. <laughs> mm. Edit. <laughs> if you put it down, I'm gonna pick it up, up, up. So let me show you guys my first bathing suit. Cute, cute. I love this print. <sighs> All right, now I put on the blue set that you guys should have seen on the reel and the TikTok. But this is like the perfect cover up. And also we can go have some lunch and then go lounge by the pool. And like, you know, we have our bathing suit under and whatnot. And yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. This Hennessy sidecar got me going. I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to go lounge by the pool and enjoy my time in Panama. We are in Central America. Gang, gang, what's up? All right, on we go. We are on our way to eat some food. Whoa, my glasses got foggy. The camera's getting foggy. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's the vibe. Plasha time. I don't know why I did it before. As long as it's not hot like that Bali sand. That shit was hot as hell. I mean, it's pretty hot, but... Let's we are We just ate, you guys. And we are now at the beach. Literally, like, walking down from our hotel. So beautiful. Yay! Oh yeah, I could get in the salt water. I said I could get in the salt water. Mm-hmm. You still got it. Can I take all these? Get it all for you, love. That is good. Yeah, but it's almost mild. We started on the right. Double shot of tequila and then one frozen. It's not bad. It's bomb. I thought it was an adios shot. Let me tell you what this reminds me of. And Candace chasing uh, alcohol with Scooby-Doo. Yes. Okay. Scooby-Doo. Dangerous. Yeah. We're here for a Hennessy side That's what we're here for. a good time, not okay. a long time, okay? <laughs> Y'all, I just woke up from a nap. Uh, what an amazing nap, first of all. And second of all, Ashley and I were just talking about how I personally, and I don't think she has either, like we have not lounged at a pool since like we went to Tulum which was like three four years ago already that's wild because I've obviously been traveling to different places but like I haven't taken 
a type of vacation where I just lounge and travel and chill. And I really thought Panama was gonna be extremely hot, but right now, like, the weather is perfect. We're here, she wanna go get another drink, like, the overcast the beach over here the music that these people are playing like everything is a vibe like we're just enjoying and her family this is actually her family's trip and i was invited <laughs> i'm part of the family you know so one of you guys asked me like oh when are we gonna see you on family trips like with my family i'm like whenever they go somewhere else other than the same old places that they always go to that's when y'all are gonna see me with my family traveling because i'm trying to see the world baby and there is so much world to see to always be visiting the same places so i'm at a family trip with Ashley's family <laughs> um, yeah we're about to have some fun it's Candace's birthday today actually so it should be fun and we're just gonna hang out in the meantime that everyone else arrives good morning it is the day after you guys and today everyone's here we are just gonna be hanging around in the resort in the pool and everything and I'm gonna put some of this Copacabana bronze. I thankfully did not get like a full on tan yesterday or nothing at all, or like burn or nothing, which I'm really glad because, whoa, hold on. Let me see. I'm not even here. It smells good. Wow, this is cute. It smells good. And you guys see the difference? Pretty good. I like it. It had really good reviews. So I'm like, let me take it and try it. Okay, I had to put this shirt on top because we're going to go have breakfast and we can't have breakfast in our bathing suits, of course. But it's really, really cute. Like, it really bronzed me up a little bit. Perfect. Today's UV light is about to be like all the way to the 8, I believe. 8 or 9, which, yeah, definitely wear sunblock. So I'm definitely wearing sunblock. But right now, we're going to go have breakfast. And then we'll go back to the pool. All right, y'all. It's pool time. Pool, pool, pool. Wearing something blue this time with white. It literally was just sprinkling. And all of a sudden, it's just it's hot again. Hot again. <laughs> which, that's the vibe. I sure did. Okay, good. Hold on. I didn't. Damn. Sure did not. Tell uh, your brother. Where is he even at? He had left. Time to go. He's gonna come. He's gonna go get his sandals. Is he not? He said, tell you he had sandals on last night. Okay. <laughs> you told him. We had to come back for the speaker. I almost. Again, forgot the speaker. <laughs> Come back, so I might as well just put some look now. At least on my arms. Look at this cute. <laughs> it's gonna look so cute, cute floaty. Drink floaty. You can put your water in there too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You need more. Still more? more? Oh, well, fine. Mm -hmm. I literally have not drank all year the way that I've drank today. Like, I'm like, oh, we're on a family trip. <laughs> but like a let's get lit family trip, you know what I'm saying? I got a little toasty. It is time to shower to get some, um, some of this chlorine out and figure out the rest of the trip. I'm tripping. <laughs> I'm like this is this is our room right yay this is our room Ooh.
Okay, I'm a little red, so like not too much, which perfect. Oh, actually a little too much, <laughs> but no, okay, like I am bearable. This is good, this is good. Like I, I brought, wow, <laughs> I brought some gel that I got from like Cabo last time. Yeah, I, I'll be fine, I'm gonna shower. And I'm gonna figure out what to wear today. Y'all, I'm not even gonna try to front. Like, I feel like my words are slurring. <laughs> this is crazy. And I definitely, whoa. I definitely, I definitely got a tan. Like, you can see it. Yeah, like, you can see the difference. I put on this really cute, like, romper that i bought for bali actually but i didn't get to wear it in bali so i'm like let me take it out to panama and it's gonna look really cute i don't know why i'm wearing this right now because it feels like a really good outfit to go out to the city i don't even think we're going out to the city tonight or anything like that but it just seemed like the perfect fit to wear you know what i mean like this is the type of outfit where like you don't need to wear anything you just got to put it on and it looks fine because it covers what it needs to cover and you still look really decent you know yeah so anyways i look really cute <laughs> very tropical vibes very everything i washed my hair and i feel like i'm just gonna put some mousse on for now and like just moisturize my face because i definitely got some color now that's what i was coming for that's what i was coming here for i wanted some color so i got it <laughs> i got it so now i'm gonna put some mousse in my hair and i'm gonna go find some sushi because the girl said they were ordering some sushi up to the room I wanted to come in here and shower. Hey, 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 run for your life. Hey, 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 run for, let me hear you say OVO, OVO. Good morning, Panama. Oh gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> you guys, we got so turned yesterday at the pool, like it's not even funny. <laughs> this is crazy, but happy July. I am starting off July here in another country, which I love because honestly, I got invited to this vacation. I was like, yes, let's spend 4th of July out America <laughs> because normally I don't really ever do anything like every year. Like I, it's never been a thing, right? Like for me. So like I'm just home or like listening to the fireworks and stuff. So I'm like, oh, this is gonna be perfect. Anyways, I we are gonna be going to breakfast right now. I'm sure you can already see on my lips, on my face, that I already got some color. I definitely did on my body, like I can already see it. And right now we're just, I was like, can we just, cause we're gonna be going out to the city today. We're going to old uh, Panama. We're going to Panama Viejo, I think it's called, or but like old Panama basically. And I was like, can we just like, just put on some BS clothes right now, go have breakfast, come back and then get ready. Cause I also realized that <laughs> I didn't bring as many outfits as I thought that I did. I brought so many bathing suits and cover-ups. Like this is a cover-up right now. <laughs> but I'm like, I just want to have some breakfast before we go anywhere and you know, go from there. I am excited to go into the city and like try food out there. Yeah, yesterday, definitely. <laughs> Ooh, it was lit, okay? Like, it was lit. Had an amazing time with everybody, but now I'm like, okay. My face is a little, mm, a little puffed up from the alcohol. But I'm ready to have some breakfast now, so. I'm gonna go have some breakfast, get ready, come and show you guys my outfit for today because this is not an outfit right now, so I'm not even gonna show you. And um, then we're gonna go to the city. So you guys are coming, of course, as always. Hello, hello. You guys, we are going into the city today and you know, decided to wear something that was very colorful and so bright. But I was just telling Ashley that one thing about this trip is that none of my outfits were planned. Like I normally will <laughs> have like a whole lookbook. Like I know what I'm gonna wear what day with what what. No, this time around I just kind of threw everything in and I and even 
certain items like i didn't even try them on before putting them in my luggage like let me show you guys my outfit for today it's these green like flowy pants matter of fact let me put you guys down so you could see what i'm talking about really really cute pants there you go they're really flowy very very cute and I know you guys are going to ask me where I got them from. I got them from Shein. They are green tall or tall green large. I literally did not try them on. So good thing about me is that I can see something like I can just open it up like this and be like, oh, yeah, that's going to fit. Just like this shirt. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to wear this shirt with, but like something will come together. This hat I didn't even have. It was a gift. It was gifted to me like two days before i left on vacation but this straw purse i did get it from shein as well it's really really cute and i just feel like it matched everything perfectly also i'm wearing my louis hoops which i normally don't wear them back home like i've had these for like over four years already and i decided to wear them for the trip i literally almost only wear them when i'm on vacation <laughs> but i'm excited we're all colorful Ashley has already been to Old Town Panama, I think it's called, or Old City, I don't know. But we haven't, so we are going to go and explore. Yesterday or two days ago, when we were on our way over here, guess what I saw? Panama has coffee bean and tea leaf. I was like, I was like, bodacious ass, dun dun dun. Just kidding. But I literally was like, what the heck? They have coffee bean here. So... If we're buy one, we might go and try one. But if not, we'll try whatever Panama has to offer. I'm excited, but I wanted to come and show you guys my outfit. I did a little bun situation. But you know, you got to cover from the sun. Because the sun here ain't no joke. Like, I already have a little tan tan going on. Y'all see it? <laughs> yeah, I already have something in the works but today staying off the sun for a little bit or even you know like the shady overcast that still burns you uvb like eight and nine and ten up here so we're gonna finish getting ready and then we're gonna head on out so vamonos <laughs> we are finishing getting ready well i'm finished but we're about to record some tiktoks tick tock tick tock because if there's one thing is that her and I are going to go on vacation together somewhere out the country, okay? Somewhere out the country. You guys, I was just telling Ashley that I'm not used to like wearing hats ever. Like not this type of hats, but they're so cute. And it feels super weird to me, especially like trying to take a selfie because I feel like the hat overpowers everything else. But then far like this and like seeing myself with the whole outfit it's chef's kiss like it's really really cute and i just have to get used to the awkwardness but you ready shoot ready okay this is cherries it is since my earrings are missing wait what i said cherries it is since uh, my other earrings are missing be like we're back baby and i'll be like we're fucking back okay you do the crazy you get me? <laughs> but like you know yeah. conversation and then what do we do after like yeah we can do that okay that's the one. <laughs> Same period. Let's go. One, one take. One take. Exactly. <laughs> that was all it took. <laughs> that is awesome. Let me show it to you guys. One take. You <laughs> it was two, but <laughs> one good one. I love it. Love that. Whoa. Y'all see the humidity? But it's humid. The sun is officially in. It's also super windy. Look, y'all. It feels good. It feels really good. It just, the it's a little. I know. No, the hat's cute. It's given Panama. Yeah, good. You and Dusty are trying to be matching by the hat. <laughs> I'll be like, come on, brother, take a picture. My brother in this hat, y'all. Right. Full blown Panamanian in two days. Day and a half. First day. Town sale, I've got it. Yeah. Okay. Are we decent? Yeah. Okay. Happy birthday. Thank you. Gracias. 
We're ready. Thank you. Oh yeah, did everybody get a thing? Us four did. You did. Yeah. Hi, yeah. <laughs> like Sierra. Cheers, 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 yeah. cheers. It's cheers. these little, uh, I'm like, cheers. Brandy got behind us, so cheers. So kind of my one, a uh, zero, you said? Kind of my one, a zero. <laughs> Everybody will be a Yeah. That's fine. So let's get going and get some food. We are by the ruins. What happened? Oh, uh, we can't walk over there. There's another one though where you'll see the arco where the bricks have fall, have actually fallen. La compañía. We have officially made it to Old Town. We are at a souvenir shop. I feel like I'm the only one that went and came in here, but I just bought a turtle magnet for my fridge. Very pretty. Some of them have butterflies, I know. And some of them have turtles. Oh, sister, look at this one. Ooh, these are cute. So cute. These are cute. Oh, no, it's okay. I already got it. Yeah, I already bought it. I like the color <laughs> that I got. I ended up going with this one. Wait, what's that? Oh, that's the drink. The drink. The so drink. The oh, that's just ice. <laughs> <laughs> this side of the table gets the same thing? I mean, when did you get here, ma'am? Oh, good. You can wait your turn. You got here late. Stop you. Good ice, yeah. You're right. No, I'm recording. Picture it is. Bad boy. You got so dark. All right, um. Ever loving nerves. <laughs> <laughs> we do or you do? Oh, do what? to the beach after where did we go what was it called old something uh, casco viejo is it casco like helmet okay so we went to because <laughs> casco means helmet so we went to old town you guys we it's hot it's humid we look really cute all of us full and colorful colors and we got to celebrate both of their birthdays it was really cute how they came out and like the whole table was turned up really really cute we got a little bit of souvenirs, nothing like extra, nothing much. There was one store where I'm like, you're trying to overcharge me. <laughs> Cause this other guy had already given me a deal and the woman at the cashier was like, it was already discounted. I'm like, well, he said two for 20. So what do you want me to tell you? <laughs> yeah, so we are here now. We are sweating, okay? <laughs> My mustache is sweating, okay? And it's not that thick, baby. Yeah, right. Like, it's humid, it's hot. I was gonna go in the beach, but I think I'm just gonna not and go in the pool instead because this beach is not the cleanest beach, you know, because obviously, I'm like, we're by the Panama Canal. Does that mean that all the poop and shit goes into this ocean? Or? Not the poop, but the ships. So the Panama oh. Canal is how they get all of the imports from America or other countries into Central America. Got so it. So it's all like the cargo ships, the food ships, all that. That's why, it's, that's why it's not like the cleanest, but it's still really nice to be here and like being at the pool and stuff, like it's chill. We got <laughs> some of these mugs because they are literally um, filling them up with our alcohol because we're at an all-inclusive uh, resort. So it's literally all the alcohol you can have. And remember how I told you guys that we're preferred? Well, we have top-notch alcohol. So like even Hennessy, like whatever high-end tequila you want like we got it so we have some Cadillac margaritas in here and because it's so humid they're like sweating but 
they're not getting cold and the ice is not melting like it would on a regular plastic cup so that's lovely so yeah we're just gonna hang out here some of the family is sleeping some of the family is chilling some of the family is stalking us from up there <laughs> okay taking pictures of us Stefan <laughs> making fun of us and shit <laughs> mm. but we are living okay I can't relay your desperation. Who gives a F? I'm on vacation. Oh. <laughs> and I got period. this one boy. <laughs> and he wants to call it. <laughs> I don't got nobody but still. <laughs> right. <laughs> There's I'm trying to make TikToks. Let's make a TikTok. <laughs> Good morning. Today the sun is out, you guys. Like out, 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 out. Like it hasn't been this out. And we're gonna go kayaking because the there were sore offers different activities so we're gonna go kayaking and then i think some of the girls are gonna go learn how to make drinks and i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna figure that out it's been lovely because it's like every day i'm resting or sleeping more because you know obviously like we're in the pool we're in the water we're under the sun like we are i'm burnt <laughs> like i am you could see it like on my boobs a little bit let me see you can see it here on my boobs a little bit and let me show you guys <laughs> like yeah so i toasted sunny side up just enough for it not to hurt and burn obviously i've been reapplying and applying sunblock but my type of skin just has always burnt like it just always does but i am definitely trying to take care of my face however <laughs> y'all i am i have not drank alcohol the way that i've been drinking in months like literally i told you guys since like new year i think that was the time i had the most alcohol like <laughs> this year right and i can already tell like my body is not used to this so it's like breaking out alcohol is obviously horrible for you i feel a little bit bloated and just like all kinds of stuff but i'm having a good time i'm on vacation and it's it's been fun it's been fun it's been fun to like not have an agenda to not have an itinerary to just come and relax and come and meet new people because for those of you guys that vacation like that's what vacationing is all about you know especially like there are some times when you know we've met a lot of couples for example that obviously like a bunch of birthdays happening a bunch of just you know anniversaries and whatnot and a lot of people just love to hang out in resorts outside of where they're at and like to change you know their atmosphere also there's a bunch of mosquitoes <laughs> and yeah like we've been meeting a lot of new people really cool also from the states so you know obviously also people from here and people from canada but people are out here and i love that i love that we're all you know just enjoying our lives because we don't need to wait until we retire to enjoy our lives one thing about myself like vacationing and stuff i will tell you guys this the food on the resort it's not the best but i feel like anytime you go to an all-inclusive resort like the food is not and i'm a foodie so I, like i'm super picky and particular about like i'll eat but whether or not the food is actually good like i'm gonna eat because i need to eat yesterday when we went to yesterday when we went into the city like into old panama the food was delicious like i had a tuna tartar i think it's what it's called that tuna was absolutely fresh it was melting in my mouth like it was delicious and from what i hear there's a lot of other places out of the resort that are really really good so obviously i know you guys always have questions regarding traveling and how much it is and whatnot depending on what you're looking for like if you're trying to get the most for your buck i guess or like not spend money on every meal or on alcohol or whatever then yeah you want to do an all-inclusive because that already comes with restaurants and it already comes with food and like room service that's free you don't like you're just tipping right and most of the time like alcohol is free and it's included here this is the first resort that we've actually come to and because we got preferred like hennessy is actually included in it which most of us drink hennessy here or like the upper scale tequilas like not the nasty tequilas because i can drink 
like I will drink it's funny people have have me reversed or say that I'm reversed they're like you should take tequila shots and like your mixed drinks should be with the darker liquor I'm like no 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 I will take <laughs> Hennessy shots because I personally cannot fathom tequila anymore like I, I get grossed out and if like I've had vodka mixed drinks I've had tequila mixed drinks I've obviously the first day I kept it to all Hennessy like Hennessy sidecars so we'll see what it is today we'll see what we do today but we are gonna go kayaking so I'm excited for that I don't know that I can take you guys because what if the kayak flips <laughs> but i'm excited to just like be out there i haven't made it like i made it out that we made it out to the beach yesterday of course but like i don't know that i'm actually gonna get in the water we'll see because the part that we were in it was a little bit rocky and i'm like oh my feet hurt <laughs> but like i might walk over here on this side meanwhile people are doing like the drinking class or whatnot because i don't know i mean i know how to make the drinks that i like <laughs> i don't know that i'm interested in anything else <laughs> but yeah we are out here i love it it's if you know there's not a bunch of things going on but i feel like i said like it's been years since i've just taken a vacation to just relax and chill and like enjoy the resort or like just be here you know like these are the type of vacations that normally yeah like you would take with your partner or you would take with friends like i said her and i like three years ago with two other friends or four other friends we went on a girl trip to tulum and like we didn't do many activities now here in panama there's a lot less activities like if you're an activity person yeah you can go hiking yeah you can go to like a monkey forest i believe there is like you can um obviously go into a yacht and go into the ocean like that type of stuff right but i feel like a lot of these things i've already done through like all of my vacation and not everyone you know wants to do them either i was just like i just want to go to the panama canal because like you didn't come to panama if you didn't go to the panama canal like come on like that is history lesson you know like i didn't really pay attention in history because i didn't understand what was happening <laughs> i didn't speak english at the time but like i know something about the panama canal you know <laughs> so i'm excited for that i am we're waiting for we're waiting for breakfast right now and i'm gonna change i'm gonna figure out what outfit to wear we look really really cute yesterday um everyone was like okay like you look like you're really vacationing like you know my outfit that i showed you guys with the green and stuff like green turns color turns faces not turns colors <laughs> green like you would think red green definitely has to have some sort of meaning for something because women and men like you know and i know i'm beautiful and i appreciate that but i feel like depending on what you wear and what you look like like there's different and you know and it wasn't nasty looks of course like it was just like oh like and i got a lot of compliments so it was like oh you look nice like oh you look whatever whatever so yeah um green try green <laughs> if you ever don't know what color you should wear and you know play around with a color scheme but i did not know that verde bandera looks so great on me like that and even the whole bathing suit situation with the green like it people loved it and i was like thanks i appreciate that so definitely do that today we're supposed to be doing mom wanted all of us to wear white on one of the nights so i think we're gonna go out to one of the clubs out here and like just have a party night sheesh <laughs> so we're all gonna wear white and for now yeah like we're gonna go some of us are gonna go kayaking and then we're just gonna spend the day here at the resort and then at night we're gonna go off um and go out there so we'll see thank you guys for coming you know for coming and enjoying my vacation with me as always panama if you are wondering just overall about vacationing it's a cool spot like the weather even though like the map showed that it was gonna rain every single day when we were here like it sprinkled once you know like it is rainy season but it's been great the weather is really nice it's not extremely hot it is humid you know but i mean i kind of expect that because coming from sinaloa like we're by the coast so like anytime it's like it's hot like dubai hot y'all it was dry hot because we're at the desert versus like this is humid hot so it's a little bit different and then of course we're in the pool we're in the ocean like we're just doing things so we're not it's not really extremely hot when we were in the city it got hot because we were by the city and we're walking you know so that was a little bit intense <sighs> but anyways um we are 
we're here what i was talking to you guys about like the all-inclusive versus the not i think i hadn't done all-inclusive since our tulum trip and so basically like i said like all inclusive means that everything is included so you don't need to spend extra on other stuff so a lot of people love to do all inclusive for that reason because it's like well i already paid fifteen hundred dollars for the stay and for everything so like i don't really want to do anything outside of that cool if that's your budget cool i personally love to go to different places and try their food like the food is my cultural thing <laughs> like i'm like i just want to try food everywhere right and yeah i mean we're definitely gonna get to try it we tried it yesterday so it's really good for bigger groups or groups where like you know you want to come into a, a medium i guess and like figure out what fits everyone but you know like if ever you are in a place where you want to splurge i normally come on vacation and i don't come with a budget i will be 100 percent honest with you guys like vacation money is vacation money <laughs> you know like i'm not like oh i can only spend 100 dollars outside of what i'm no like i have no budget but i've already planned right we've talked about like planning and stuff like when it comes to budgeting back at home but there's that's the reason why i save money because i'm gonna have enough money to where i'm gonna be comfortable and whether or not certain people want to do certain things like i'm going to do what i want to do and i'm going to spend whatever i want to spend right so i like that i i'm like that when it comes to vacationing but a lot of people aren't and that's fine so wherever you fit on the scale of super budgeting or super open to whatever comes you can choose obviously a vacation that it's not all inclusive you have to pay for every meal for every drink for every outing for every everything so you are spending a little bit more but also your destination it depends here in panama the currency is us dollars like that is the currency so we didn't even have to exchange money we didn't have to do none of that so anyways enough talking i'm gonna try to figure out what i'm gonna get what i'm gonna wear and we'll come and show you guys all right you guys we're about to leave but i want to show you my brand really quick <laughs> This was from the other day and like I said, it doesn't like fully, fully hurt right now, but I have to obviously take extra precautions. It's almost time for us to go. We just had some uh, breakfast and yeah, we're gonna go kayaking now. So <sighs> yeah, this should be okay, fine. Let's hope I'll, I'll probably reapply sunscreen after kayaking. You guys, we made it. We are here. We're going to be kayaking. It's literally um, right here from the resort. They just wrote down our names and we are six of us. But as long as you make it here by 11, you can kayak. We obviously can go like super far out, but it's going to be so much fun. Look. Here come Ashley, you guys. This is a workout. Does this, yeah. <gasps> they fell over. Yoo-hoo! Excuse me. They fell. See, so I'm coming back. Look Candace holding on to the... Uh, <laughs> Amy and I are going to do it. Right? She is coming back around. Yeah, right. right. Amy will swim without that like this. Right. She said something about coming back. Right. Right. At some point, you can probably just stand up. Right. You're a little late. Oh, not, no, not praying. praying. Okay. She's praying. Right. She's probably having so much fun. But yeah, finally. What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you mean business about the 
office. They actually stayed on. The whole time. They threw me all right up. That is crazy. I'm really red. No, oh, yeah, I told you. I don't even want to get your camera. I'm looking crazy. That forehead. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. You're looking rough. Right, no, I'm like, I'm all red. Okay, like, that is not the two in the video from earlier. Actually, this is not the people. Wait, my twin. Wait, this is not the This is not the people at the airport. Chocolate and strawberry. I got two girls, light skin and chocolate. <laughs> It's a whole wow. It's a whole tsunami. Wow. It's a whole tsunami. <laughs> Not too much of my girl now. <laughs> We've been in the pool all day. And out of nowhere. Girl, and out of nowhere. And out of nowhere. And all of a sudden, the rain started. We all are We share. Hey, 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 hey. That's the area. We're under hey, this thing to make sure we stay dry, you guys. <laughs> We've been in the pool for like four hours now. That's crazy. You guys. Okay, this, you can see it. <laughs> it's the fact that now it really looks like we went somewhere. <laughs> but hold on. Don't be miserable. 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 Don't one little taste, not one smell, sniff, nothing. <laughs> what is up, you guys? As you can see, I got some color. I don't even know where I left y'all yesterday, but we came upstairs after the pool, after you guys saw the whole raining situation, and then we changed, and we looked to... Yes, last... Ugh, why did I get a whiff of alcohol? Last night was supposed to be the all white <laughs> we were gonna all wear white and go eat something and go out to a bar or whatever and the moms ended up staying they were like yeah we're not having that so all of the young adults went <laughs> and by young adults i mean we're all like in our late 20s 30s <laughs> um i'm hot i and we went but I was fine. I took a nap. I was fine. I was dandy. We, while we were waiting to figure out where we were gonna go, we went to the lobby. I took, I drank like two or three ginger ales. I was fine. Then we got picked up, baby. When I tell you that people here drive crazy, they drive crazy. Okay, like them curbs were hitting, like the smell of the car that picked us up. It was an Uber. It smelled like bubble gum and not like the mint kind, but like the candy kind. And you guys already know how you guys already know how much I dislike the smell of bubble gum. Well, everything combined, like the curves, the smell, everything combined, put me out. Like as soon as I got out of that car, I threw up nasty. As soon as I threw up, I started getting a nasty headache. So we got to the place, it was like on the 28th floor, really nice views, but like I couldn't even enjoy it, you know what I mean? So I just kind of stepped to the side and I was like chilling at the balcony. One of the girls came and like she was with me the whole time and stuff and like I just didn't even want to talk, like I just felt horrible. I didn't even feel drunk, you know one of those times where like you've drank a lot, you're not, you're not necessarily drunk but you're also obviously not all there or your body's trying to process all the alcohol that you drank. I literally have not drank this much alcohol. I don't even know when was the last time because I was telling you guys the other day, like New Year's, New Year's I drank and I was cool and cool, cool, cool. But like, I didn't feel like this. <laughs> I don't even think I've ever drank this much, but whatever, like, I just felt horrible we ended up coming back I ended up throwing up I realized I only had breakfast I hadn't eaten throughout the day and we were supposed to eat I wanted to eat but like after that car incident like it just 
it did everything it needed to do to my stomach and that was horrible we came back half of us came back half of them stayed and literally i got to my hotel room straight to the toilet to continue to throw up and again i was just throwing up fluids y'all because i hadn't eaten anything and that's my bad you know like that's on me but literally i was like i am not drinking tomorrow for sure and i don't know that i ever want to drink right now ever again <laughs> because i'll tell you guys what i drank if you know me you know that i can't drink tequila like i don't like tequila so if we're gonna take shots we're gonna drink hennessy is my drink of choice so i tried a cadillac margarita that they made and it was so good obviously it's made with tequila and it was like made with good tequila too so you know like you can't taste the tequila but then at the end of so many of those like my body doesn't know how to process tequila i just i can't i'm not a tequila person and i'm okay with that i was like hennessy would have never because i literally was throwing up and last time i got this drunk actually um and my cuñado always like is like amy blacked out on my birthday da, 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 like five years ago it was with tequila so like i know i'm not a tequila person <laughs> i can't drink it i can't drink clear liquor like that it's not for me so i don't know why i was not drinking hennessy i don't know why i just i just liked it i liked the taste of the cadillac margarita with the grand Marnier. like it was just good anyways whew, here we are <laughs> i woke up today and i felt so much better i got home yesterday after throwing up i drank some tylenol and i drank water i tried to like stay hydrated as much as i could but like I was throwing up all the way to like that acid that we have in our stomach and stuff because it was just like emptying everything out like I almost I was so afraid of like getting alcohol poisoning to the point where like I had to go to a hospital out here because strange I'm in another country and even though they speak my language like things are different you know or like I can communicate but still things are very very different so I'm glad to be okay I i'm so so grateful to be okay i ended up going downstairs right now and having some breakfast i was like can you just cook me fry me some eggs with bacon and hash brown so that was good and then i went to go take a walk to the beach like i took a, a long 15 minute walk <laughs> long and then came back and like now we're in the hotel to uh today we're supposed to be going into the city we're gonna go to the panama canal and we are gonna be going to eat some what they say really really good food some really good fresh seafood here so i'm excited for that i'm gonna rest for a little bit and then get ready and i'll figure out what to wear actually because yeah i'm alive i'm dead but i'm alive <laughs> all right i rested a little bit we are gonna go to the panama canal which is literally like can't come to panama and not go to the panama canal come on now y'all i love this uh sun yeah thankfully this doesn't hurt i know it looks super super red but that's because that's how i get i'm telling you had i been in out in the sun for a little bit longer it would have been real bad but not like as horrible as it looks thankfully so i'm gonna put this on because it's super tropical and i'm still gonna watch out for my arms because i don't want them to die it's so funny how i legit have like outfits from 2002 still wearing them now <laughs> like i just buy a bunch of stuff for vacation and if i didn't wear it on one vacation i'll definitely wear it on the next I'm so sun-kissed, I don't even want to wear makeup. <laughs> like, I feel like this is cute enough. I'm on SNL and you're not. <laughs> All right, it's time to go to the Panama Canal. What's up with the lighting? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's time to go to the Panama Canal, you guys. We are... Oh, I feel a lot better. A lot, a lot better. Panama has definitely won. Okay, I'm gonna give it to it already. Now. Made it to the Panama Canal, you guys. We have to get tickets. And after the tickets, I think like from an hour and a half from right now, they um, there's gonna be an exchange of the containers. 
We should wait for them, huh? Before we make line, because we might get there. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I just saw them. Were they blue? Yeah, they were. I thought I saw them too. I, so. I just don't Maybe know where. Not. I should go under the... The tree? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I don't want you any more red. <laughs> You're to go good, back. good, good. We are here. We are here. <sighs> There's supposed to be a passing or exchange of the containers I believe at 3 p.m. from what our driver told us so we want to see that there's also a documentary like a 45 do minute documentary that they show to like give us the history of the canal which we're probably gonna watch after um, we do this so A coffee bean in Panama. Whew. All right, you guys. So I bought a caramel ice blend. I want to see if it tastes the same or if it tastes any different. And they have different stuff um, from the bakery here. So I got an empanada de carne, which is like a beef empanada. So we'll see. Obviously, that I can compare it to over there, but I could compare the drink. So we'll see if it's. It tastes the same. <laughs> That's a big uh, compliment, okay? <laughs> wow. Y'all. I don't even remember what has happened, what hasn't happened. I just woke up. It is 3 p.m., 3.30 p.m. I've been in the room all day last night and i i'm finally feeling okay last night i went to sleep like at one probably i'm just in awe because i'm like this has never happened to me on vacation like this is crazy i obviously think i'm probably dehydrated i have not drank anything and by anything i mean like no alcohol like after that night i didn't sleep i didn't drink alcohol anymore I was like, all right, I'm not going to drink alcohol. I'm not going to, like, I'm just going to kick it. I'm probably just going to go hang out by the pool on the last day. And then, you know, like, that's it. Surprise shoddy. Like, <sighs> last night I woke up about eight times. I literally was like, again? again again like i think i actually got the stomach bug you guys know how conscious i am of my body and of everything and i can say that i've been treating my body like shit this vacation because obviously i don't drink like this and i mean i can self-sabotage and just speak negatively about myself you know but it's like i already feel shitty as it is but anyways i i woke up like eight to ten times Every time I would wake up, it's like one of the times I threw up, the other time, diarrhea, throw up, diarrhea, throw up, diarrhea. Like, that's how it was coming. There was a point where I'm like, is this going to come out both ways at the same time? Like, I don't, and I know, I'm sorry, like graphic, you know, but it was horrible. Then my head was hurting. And obviously, like when my head hurts, I understand that I'm not hydrated and I've been trying to keep you know hydrated and drinking water even after that but i guess it hasn't been enough so anyways um thankfully some of the girls had pepto so i took pepto um someone else had because i was like is there gatorade anywhere we are in the resort that we're in we are like a little bit away from the city 
so they're like if you come outside there's no like tienditas right away you know so it's like whatever the resort has to offer that's all we kind of have and they don't have gatorade so i was like fuck okay um i didn't want to drink like sprite or ginger ale because that had already messed up my stomach earlier or like made my stomach bubble to where like i obviously was throwing up horrible anyways like i'm like throwing up and i'm like this is disgusting i have not thrown up like that in a long time that's why i'm like i have to have a bug like i would probably sleep like 30 minutes and then i have to get up and just release everything and again like right now i feel like i have nothing in my stomach i um looked through the room service for lunch and they have some like chicken soup with rice so i order that and then i order some fruit depending on what fruit they bring like you know but i'm gonna take it real slow i just want to eat something so that my body starts to you know get accustomed but anyways like i drank that the gatorade and then thankfully like i have brought tylenol and then ashley has a leave so it's like i took that for the headache my head in this very moment does not hurt thankfully but i'm like this is crazy like how did this vacation turn into that <laughs> like what is happening i wanted to get one last day in at the pool and like tan and chill and relax i mean i'm definitely relaxing let me tell you that much and honestly even last night i was like diosito like please just get me home like i messed up <laughs> you know it's all on me because i'm always like take accountability for my actions especially if i did something wrong to myself you know what i mean so i'm like i got it like i don't ever want to drink again right now like you ask me anything about alcohol or anything like about dessert or anything about anything like i'm just eating because i feel like i should eat something that alleviates you know or that helps me a little bit but i don't want anything heavy like nothing i woke up at some point obviously ashley and i are rooming together so like they want to go hang out at the beach and at the pool and i was like i'm just gonna be here like i am gonna be here the whole day i don't even want to come out under the sun right now because i feel like i'm already hydrated being out there in the pool is gonna dehydrate me more I don't want to tell you that Panama's food is bad because it's not like I don't think it was really you know like Panama at all I think it was the fact that I didn't take care of me the way that I should have and therefore my body reacted like my body completely is rejecting everything in this moment like it is rejecting my environment and one thing I believe is that like even last night as I was throwing up every time I'm like I'm purging I'm purging right now like my body is not accepting anything that I'm giving it because I'm not making the best choice for myself in this moment and it's purging it out right obviously you already know that alcohol is no good for any of us and I had been great because I hadn't been drinking for so you know for however long and I was like oh yeah party like vacation whatever whatever heck no never doing that again like next time i'm just gonna kick it <laughs> i'm just gonna chill i'm glad that we got to go to the panama canal and like out into casco viejo which even that we didn't get to like walk it for too long but this is crazy y'all i i just i felt like because i feel a little bit better I need to come and be transparent with y'all because I don't want you to think like I don't want to go to Panama and visit because I'm gonna end up like that or this is why I don't go on vacation because I'm gonna end up like that no because out of all of the countries that I've been to and all of the places that I've been to my stomach has never reacted in any certain way it's not like I drank their water or like nothing you know what I mean like I just know that it's completely from the way I the way i mistreated my vessel you know that's <laughs> that's what happens so i think in a couple hours once i eat a little bit and maybe get a little bit more strength like i'm probably gonna start doing my maleta and figuring that out because we are leaving tomorrow good morning you guys we made it to the airport i feel 
like a million bucks now compared to yesterday yesterday was horrible but apparently i wasn't the only one that got sick everyone else was also like their stomach was messed up so i thought it was the alcohol this whole time i guess it's also the food because i i still have not eaten much i um was able to eat the chicken from the caesar salad yesterday which was like very very little bit but it settled my stomach okay the pepto helped and other than that i just literally took like painkillers for my head and water aside from that that was it i have not been happier to go home ever before than the way that i feel right now like i am so 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 tired and i just feel dehydrated overall you guys i am home i am home amen <laughs> I feel so much better. I'm actually recording this outro after editing almost the whole vlog and I'm like cracking up the whole time because I just posted a reel on Instagram of the incident with the kayak which was so hilarious to us because after you you've done watching this like all of the comments you guys are saying about the lifeguard like persinandose and like <laughs> some of you guys are like me on the first day of my new job like all kinds of things right like we're cracking up because literally like we all had these thoughts <laughs> but i'm home i'm home i'm home i got home last night i had not eaten a lot i thankfully got through the airplane and my stomach was settled i was okay i was able to eat a little bit of the food that they had in the airplane and i just had my headphones and i was just watching movies and then finally made it home i realized that this little bump right here how do you say traigo las defensas bajas o se me bajaron las defensas in english like there's certain things that you can't really translate exactly into english and i'm like I wish that I like, you know, everybody would understand what I'm trying to say. But things like this happen to me anytime that that obviously happens. And yeah, like I just got off the phone with my mom and I'm like, I didn't want to tell you what was happening out there because you're going to freak out because normally like my mom, you know, like freaks out. And I was like, I was literally like in the room just contemplating my whole future my whole past everyone like i thought of every single incident in my life ever like <laughs> that's literally how i was that night but i am so happy to be home i am so happy to be well i am so happy to be full in one piece i had you know a lot of fun moments as you guys can see here on the vlog as i also had some really eye-opening moments and also some moments that i definitely don't ever want to repeat oh, so i am home i'm home i'm home i'm home i'm healthy i'm well gracias a dios i also realized that in this during this trip like i don't know if i forgot or i just wasn't like super intentional about but you know how i always talk about gratitude gratitude was not like at the top of my list this trip around and i don't know why i don't know what it was but i don't like that <laughs> but as everything is a learning lesson and this is just comes to show you guys that you know i'm not perfect and i also i like to leave certain thought processes or like things that i also go through and things that i think about um because i want you guys to know that i'm just i'm just a girl like i'm a normal girl on the other side who's you know life you are witnessing as she's living her life and as she's going through her ups and downs and making her mistakes as well to get to the places that she wants to get to i'm really excited that i got to go to another country i got to get another stamp in my passport one thing that i always think about like i'm not gonna fight ever with someone that does not travel and <laughs> And I know like it's 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 odd to think about, but the more you go out there, the more you travel the world, the more you experience different things, different people, different cultures, the more your mind gets opened or the more open minded you become, the more you realize how little or how small the things that you put such a big emphasis on are. 
like they really are that small right like i always think about this anytime i'm like laying out literally in the ocean which i happen to go in the ocean while, <laughs> while we fell in the kayak right like any time that i've been in the middle of the ocean just chilling or snorkeling you know like i always think about cancun or tulum or like cabo like all of the places where i've been and i've been in the middle of the ocean and i'm like i am this little compared to this huge amount of water and this huge amount of water even though it's probably like 70 percent of the world like i am this little and everything that's happening is this little so you know like i just gotta zoom out of whatever it is that i'm focusing on or whatever isn't working out for me right now because everything that even though i think isn't working out for me is still working out for me you know anyways i'm well i'm happy to be here i'm happy to bring a smile to you guys' face and i'm happy that you guys came along with me i'm happy that i get to go back to all of these moments and like relive them every time that i edit them because it's really that funny you know and it was a great time it was a great family trip it was a great like it was an open-minding trip and more spiritually i think more within than anything else and yeah but i'm happy to be home i'm very very happy to be home there is so much more that i'm working towards there's so much more that i have going on this rest of the year that now i'm like okay this trip is done with now i can focus on this and i'm so grateful for that so yeah i'm home my mom's gonna be visiting me later to bring me caldo de pollo which fun fact about me i dislike caldo de pollo 98 percent i don't say 100 percent because the only time i crave my mom's caldo de pollo is when i'm sick and i was just telling her on the phone like mom you know how much i hate caldo de pollo i was literally in bed all day two days ago like and she was like like what like you just wish you had some and i was like i, I just wished i had some caldo de pollo from you and she was like i'll come over and make you some and i was like thank you because like i just feel like my stomach needs to settle and like you know come together i actually i haven't finished it but i'm drinking i haven't e even eaten breakfast it's already 12. i didn't really want to eat anything i'm probably going to be making oatmeal in a little bit but i all i've had is water with apple cider vinegar and we know because we've talked about the apple cider vinegar before here that it's really really good for your digestive system and for your gut health so that's what i'm doing and then i'm gonna go ahead and eat some oatmeal but i just wanted to come on here and thank you guys for coming on yet another trip with me on yet another country on yet another adventure and exploring with me in the ways that you have thank you for being here every single time and thank you for being on my social media and like just reacting to the videos and you know all the fun I love you guys and until the next one, bye.